Hello, and welcome to this quick demo on the Compute Copilot solution for auto scaling groups. When you have an auto scaling group, you'll continue to deploy it as you currently do with your existing pipeline and process. And Compute Copilot sits on top of that and with a little bit of configuration and through the use of Lambda, will create a listener for scaling events. And when a scaling event takes place, we'll look to replace the node that's initially instantiated. Considering two different factors, the cost effectiveness of a new node and its reliability, or likelihood for it to terminate early. And with these factors in mind, our intelligent provisioner will make a new node request, and once that's launched healthy and in service, attach it to the auto scaling group, and then send a signal to remove the original node that was just launched. And this can be done via our UI, or Compute Copilot can be configured by tag. So I'm going to go ahead and look for one of my auto scaling groups. As you can see here, I've got Grego ASG001. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And when I click configure, I'll see a few different things that are informational up at the top. I'll see the account in which this auto scaling group lives, its name, and its ARN. And what I want to point out right now is that my Lambda has already been configured. It is a per account process. And if this were not set up already, there'd be a button right about here to help you launch a CloudFormation stack within the account to get it all configured. And once that's been done, which by the way is step one, we'll be able to create a brand new auto scaling group template for the use of the NOPS Compute Copilot nodes that we'll launch. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I click and create ASG template. I'm gonna give it a name. And once that's done, I can pull in existing templates to copy their current configuration, or I can start brand new, which is what I'm gonna do here. So by default, the tool will automatically and dynamically figure out the minimum vCPU and minimum memory required for the instance based on the workloads that we see. And if your particular workloads have certain requirements around them, you can make sure to use our instance categories for an easy selection. For example, if I wanted to look at CPU manufacturers and only work with Intel, I can go ahead and type that in. You'll notice here that there are some instance families that are selected and some that are not. This makes things a lot easier by letting you specify minimum requirements for your workloads and we handle the rest. Sometimes you wonder what the right solution is, what the right node type is, and that's what we're helping you to do here. So we're helping you to diversify your node selections based on the criteria that you set forth. So let's just say that your current auto scaling group uses a node template of a C5 2XL and your node group, when its scale happens, will turn on a new node that is also a C5 2X for large. And what Copilot as a solution does with its intelligent provision is look at it and say, is this the best solution? We found a C5 4XL or maybe a C6i 8XL on the smart market that's actually less expensive. And then if that's the case, it'll get a check mark. It then goes through the second piece of the criteria and that's what the risk score is. So because we calculate data regularly and we're constantly pulling the spot market data for AWS reclaims and spot terminations, we assign each instance a risk score and that's per region, per availability zone, per size, et cetera. And that helps us determine the likelihood of that node being reclaimed or failing. So if the risk score is too great, we will not select it. So again, what we're looking at is those two factors. We're looking at the price point and how cost effective the node is and we're also looking at the risk factor of deploying that node. So in essence, what Compute Copilot is continually doing is getting you less expensive options while maintaining or increasing the reliability. And this is something that you don't want to have to think about when it comes to selecting all of your nodes and trying to run all of these calculations, going through all the charts and trying to determine which nodes fit where. So Copilot does all of this on your behalf and more. So it continuously evaluates the node type that is best for the solution. And if it finds a better fit, launches it, attaches it to the auto scaling group, and then deletes the initial node that was launched, ensuring a continuous process of intelligent scaling. So I'll go ahead and click create to save that. Then I have the option to ignore scaling protection. And if necessary, 
configure additional allocation. So if there's a requirement for a certain number of instances to remain on demand, and then for the remaining nodes that are in the auto scaling group, I can also specify additional details around how many of those would then be covered by spot. I'll go ahead and deselect that by now, which will allow for 100% spot allocation and click configure. And now you can see that the dashboard has updated. I'll see a historical log of all of the changes and I click in dashboard to see And now you'll see that the auto scale group is configured as evidenced by this. You'll also notice that there is a history button that will show all of the historical events of changes from on-demand to spot or vice versa. And you'll also see a dashboard, which will give you the breakdown of all of the instances. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.